Hi guys, and welcome to Neat Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to remove Flickr in DaVinci Resolve with help of Neat Video. Flickr can be classified into two types. Frame Flickr, where the entire frame's brightness periodically changes, like this, and Local Flickr, where only certain parts of the frame are affected. This example of Local Flickr is called Rolling Bands, which can be quite common. Let's start with removing Local Flickr. Head to the Color page, find Neat Video in Effects Library, and add Reduce Noise Effect as a second node. Locate the sections with flickering in your timeline and select a frame from one of those selections. Click Prepare Noise Profile to proceed. As this frame is full of details, and I don't have an area for building a noise profile, so I'll use the Generic Profile option and adjust the Generic Noise Slider. Double check that all the noise is removed. Looks good. Now move to the Adjust and Preview tab. Here we have a useful tool called Filter Settings Check. Click on it to access a step-by-step -step tuning guide. Start with Noise Level Check and ensure the blue mask covers all or almost all of the static objects. Next, proceed to Local Flicker Check. Click Play to better see Local Flicker and use this slider to cover flickering spots with the mask. You can proceed with the repeated frames and spatial filter checks if necessary. Now let's compare the before and after. Quite impressive, right? If you encounter Flickr even after adjusting the local Flickr slider, most likely you've also got frame Flickr and you need to tune the slider. I'll show you another example, the one you saw at the beginning of this tutorial, as it has terrible frame Flickr. Again, add the reduced noise effect as a separate node. Select a frame for profiling and click Prepare Noise Profile. Now build a noise profile. Don't forget to use the profile check to confirm the noise is gone. This looks good. Switch to the Adjust and Preview tab. Go through the Noise Level Check and Local Flicker Check. The Noise Level Check looks good, so I'll leave it untouched and go straight to the Local Flicker Check. Play All. As you can see, there is some local flicker at the top, so I just need to adjust this slider slightly. This is good. Click Finish. Now, increase the frame flicker slider. Higher. There's still some flicker, so I'll go all the way to the top. In most cases, you won't have any flicker left by now, but for the sake of demonstration, we have found this example so you'll know what to do if you hit the same wall. So, for intense flicker cases, create several variants of filtration. In variant number 1, set the temporal radius to 3. In variant number 2, set it to 4. And the last one should have a radius of 5. Now, compare each variant to see which one gives you the best results. 1, 2, and 3. I'm not sure you can see it due to YouTube's compression, but for me, the winner is variant number 2 with a radius of 4. This is our first clip with Local Flickr before Neat Video. And now, the same clip after Neat Video was applied. And this is the second clip. Before, after. All the flicker is gone. That's it, guys. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. We'll be happy to help. And bye for now.